What's going on everybody? Bulldog Gaming here. Welcome back to the channel. Evidently I turned off my truck. Uh, we are going to make this corner as quickly as possible because we are sitting still. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, yes, we are back in uh, American Truck Simulator and as promised, it is a mod showcase, sort of. And I'm doing an outside view. Uh, where I'm going, I picked up my uh, first load uh, of the day. Happy Monday. I hope your Monday's going well. I hope your week goes well. And I need to slow down and stop. Typical trucking. But uh, I picked up, picked up my first load here. We are in Salt Lake City. Um, and this is a new paint scheme. This is Southern uh, South Texas Pride uh, paint scheme for the VTC. So this will be available in the Discord. It is a Discord release only. So if you're not part of South Texas uh, RP transportation or transport, um, there, and that is the only way that you can get the paint scheme. Um, it may be released later on uh, in a future video. Uh, I have not made a decision on that yet. But uh, today we're doing a mod showcase. Uh, my buddy Dark Wolf has been working tirelessly and hours upon hours of trying to get uh, some map edits to truck terminals. I've told you guys this before. Um, getting things set up to where we actually have real truck terminals that we can use that are more realistic than... Uh, than what SCS has put out. Um, and they are buyable garages. So once I get this load delivered and we'll get over there, get back over to the Salt Lake City terminal, uh, you know what? I'm going to run this light. Screw it. There's no traffic coming. Oh, of course, now school bus is coming. Yay. Yay me. Uh, usually how it works for me, right? But uh, we'll get back over there after we make this quick delivery. We'll get back over to the terminal. And uh, I'll kind of give you a showcase a rundown of the Salt Lake City uh, yard. And we will get, uh, then I will fast track using the power of uh, a console button. And we'll fast track over to the Denver terminal, which is now a viable garage, and show that off to you. Now, he has worked many, many hours to get this to where it will work properly. I'm doing a test run today, so I figured I would go ahead and video it while I was doing my test run. And I know you guys are used to me doing a sense of, of, of realism on a lot of things, uh, but being that this is the uh, showcase for the two terminals, and I'm wanting to make sure that everything works um, properly and kind of show off the uh, new paint scheme that I just did. Now that shadow is new. That shadowing you just seen on the top of the truck, that is new. Um, it's probably shadowing that should not be there, but yeah, I can deal with it. Made this uh, paint scheme uh, last Thursday. Uh, did not get on and play or check it out to see what it looked like. And today is the first time that I've seen it on the truck. This is Viper 2's truck, um, which you can uh, go to Facebook, look up Viper 2, and find where all the edits is. It is The uh, truck is available on Steam. There is added accessories that you can get uh, through the Steam Workshop. Uh, there will be a link to it in the description. Um, this, And I do apologize, it is late in the day that this... Uh, has come up but as promised i wanted to get a video out here on the on the channel here on youtube uh to give you guys uh some updates on what's going on and and see some of the things that i have been personally working on which is this paint scheme i've been trying to come up with a better paint scheme than the paint scheme that i put on john rudis pete um, this almost matches it, 
but I believe the graphics and the paint that I laid down uh, look a heck of a lot better. There it is, South Texas Pride on the back window. Uh, and then these are accessories, the new bumper, the new lights that uh, you see flashing. Um, those are new lights that you can get through the Steam Workshop. And then there is a release uh, through Viper 2 to get the working lights, um, the marker lights that you see, the, the elongated ones, and the ones that I have on the front of the truck. Um, there is a release for them on Viper 2. Okay, he is sitting way back for no reason. So we are going to run all the way back to the terminal real quick. And then fast track to Denver. And then I will get this thing in for rendering and get it sent to uploading. That way it is uploaded at a decent time. I am also working on a new intro for the channel, for the YouTube channel. And I will probably be overlaying it on my uh, Twitch channel uh, for an intro for, intro for Twitch uh, for when I go live on Twitch. So bear with me. I know it's been I know it's been a minute or three since I've been on. Uh, just a lot of things going on in real life, and I have one backup light on the back of the cab. Why is that? I don't know. I need to get rid of it. It looks dumb. So as you can see right there on the on the map in the lower left lower right hand corner, um is the Salt Lake City uh, terminal. So, and as you can see, it says test on a, thing, a lot of things. It is still in beta uh, between Dark Wolf, myself, and a couple other people that are, are on the VTC and on Dark Wolf uh, Map Editing's uh, Facebook page, which I'll drop a link to. Um, there is several people that are beta testing this for dark wolf making sure that it works properly um this is an an additional this trailer right here i actually am advertising my company right there uh the vtc right there and then he does have triggers load triggers in here you come in you can choose either entrance there's two entrances to this place um but he's got some construction equipment set up out here. That way, I believe, so you can depict things are still under construction. We're trying to get things uh, worked out. Um, he does have he does have a model sitting inside the garage. There, this is all new to the uh, uh, yard right here. This right outside the garage. This is an on-site work facility to where you can work on your truck, do your repairs, do your paint jobs, everything. And I'll show you that it does work. And then we'll go around over to the fuel icon and I'll show you that that does work also. And this comes standard. Um, it is a free mod, uh, map mod, map edit, I should say. Do a quick repair, don't need anything repaired. Uh, I can go in, I can do everything that you can do at the garages, uh, the shops on the map. I can do it right here at the terminal like you would in real life. Um, you should be able to do that kind of stuff. Uh, triple trailer. There is an oversized load um, sitting here. He is working on getting an oversized trigger um, for us to be able to do a heavy haul here. So uh, fuel trigger does work and, and it'll pop up. Fuel trigger on both sides does work. Um, so you can get fuel. This one, I like the setup on this one here because it's outside the shop. That is a glitch. Do not know what's causing that glitch, but that is a glitch. Um, then showing, you know, resurfacing, some added models. Warehouse dock. Uh, kind of like what I used to deal with at uh, 
uh, uh, Western Flyer Express that I used to drive for. We had our own dock to where we could transfer loads and get loads. Um, this is your shop icon, or not shop icon, this is your garage icon. Pull up, and you can do everything that you normally would. And then we'll fast travel here in a minute over to the Denver tra uh, Denver yard. And I do have trucks and trailer uh, trucks in here. I'm running nothing but Vipers trucks in my in my company right now. Uh, show you that the load trigger does work, and then eventually I'll show you that we can bring loads to here. Um, I'll probably do that during a live stream over on Twitch. As you can see here, freight market, external contracts. Um, the only thing that he does have left here is this, and I don't like triples. So as you can see, the Great Dane Everest put out by uh, Bart is in the load trigger, which is pretty cool because of being uh, that you can get loads. Uh, Fry Miller doesn't have a... Uh, drive-in division yet um so we'll go over here and i'll show you there we go there's fry miller with the back on it i uh, will confirm that and then i'll show you okay there it is we're going to go ahead this goes steamboat stripperings colorado we're going to go ahead and take that load and turn on our hazards there sets our trailer Pretty cool that uh, uh, Bart Modding has uh, to where you can pick his trailers up on in the loads, so I can actually run his custom trailer. We're hooked up. We're gonna pull this out. Quick photo opportunity. <laughs> There we go. We'll kill this right here. That is such a better picture. We'll go with that. Turn our map back on. And yes, I am flying the VTC flag at the terminal. So like I said, we're going to Steamboat Springs. I'm not going to do all the driving. I'm not going to bore you with the driving of that. So with the power off console, <clears throat> we'll hit F6. We'll hit this, we will hit go to steam, not storm, steam, boat, underscore, springs, and hit enter. It did not like that. That's oh, because I misspelled it. Go to S T A M B O A T underscore S P R I N G S. Enter. I'm spelling it right, you dumbass. Uh, well, I know another way to do this. Oh, yep. Yeah. Here we go. F5. And we are flying. I know there's a better way to do this.
Actually, would have been a pretty cool ride to ride. I'll drive that line. There we go. Now we got land coming in. Turn our little little thing off here. I'm just going to pull into this spot right here. This is one of the areas I'm actually going to be working. Um, trying to make things work. Uh, sectoring and stuff like that. I'm still learning. So about 87 miles of this drive that we'll do together instead of having to do it the other way. I'll probably edit that part out. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Might want to turn that off. Yeah, it's off. Not what I wanted to do. <laughs> like I said, everything I do is raw in here, so bear with me. That'd be pretty cool to turn into an actual truck stop parking uh, place to pull into. I'm gonna work on. I'm working on some map edits for realistic uh, uh, parking. In some areas on the off ramps, adding a rest point on the off ramps and stuff like that. There we go. Another little uh, quick. Quick picture opportunity there. So, so far, so good. Everything's worked. I haven't had any crashes. Um, I do believe that there is a, a load icon to where I can get a load while I'm at the Denver terminal. And as soon as we dump this one off, then I'll just fast travel to the Denver terminal. Oh, shoot. I could have stayed in that lane.
I hate AI traffic sometimes. I remember if I had. Nope, oh, I don't have Enderglow on this truck. Oh, well, Mr. Tanker Yanker's in a hurry. Wasn't going to let me get in front of him. Now, I do have some of my settings turned off on here because of the uh, the light latency is not correct. Um, ever since they came out with the new lighting package for uh, ATS, it is not, yeah, it just, it's trash. Normally, I wouldn't do that, but I'm in a little bit of a hurry here. There we go. A little hesitation right there. Get over here, hopefully, pretty shortly. <laughs> oh, thank God. Shit. Should have paid attention to the, what's going on on the screen and not look over and see what's trying to go on behind me on the TV. I do not have uh, any of the map edit mods in where, you know, company names and and stuff like that anymore. I took those back out because they were causing an error in my game and I'm going to have to blow this light. So... Yeah. 
knew I was going to do that. So might as well just use the momentum. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Oh. Allergies and sinuses have been kicking my butt. Another reason why I haven't done any recordings or anything. Whoops. Yep, I'm going to do it this way. Continue. Uh, garage manager, Denver, travel. Uh, quick travel over there, and then I will show you Denver. Now, if you're used to the De if you're used to the map and the Denver area. Where the original garage is, the new garage is actually over by uh, UPS or, or over by one of the other businesses. Okay, so start off, if you buy this, you start off here. Again, has has the trailers with the logos on it. Um Walbert. It's over there. Walbert. Yep. Fuel Bay is right outside the shop terminal there. And I know I updated this. Do I not have the load trigger in Denver? Is there not a load trigger in Denver? There is not a load trigger in Denver yet. I think he's working on that. Again, same thing. That is your garage. That is your shop. Just like you would. Um, and then the fuel base. So with that being said, y'all, safe travels. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, any input would be welcome. Um, you can go to, and like I said, I will have this in uh, a link to, to where to get these map edits, uh, Dark Wolf uh, map editing on Facebook, uh, a link to where you can go get these. Um, and in the description, if you read everything, you'll know how to set these up. As far as I know, as of today, today is April 26th. Uh, it is not working with uh, C2C, uh, the coast to coast map. Um, it is not working with uh, Great American Mapping or Great American Map, and it is not working with another one. I don't remember what it is, uh, but it is not working with uh, another map mod. Um, at this time we are working on making sure that that does happen so with that being said guys safe travels y'all have a good week and look forward to me streaming over on twitch uh probably tomorrow night uh because i have to work tonight so we'll catch y'all later